Hi, good morning everyone. Uh, thanks so again for joining us for the Test Automation for Salesforce webinar. Um, we're glad and excited to bring you this presentation with how testing ways can help you in automating um, test automation across board. Um, today on the webinar, uh, I would be the main presenter. My name is Primal. I would be joined by my team of testers who would be showing you the automation scripts and how you can actually automate um, using testing list. Um, so focusing on today's agenda, what we uh, would be talking about would be how Salesforce apps and test automation uh, can be achieved for the maximum coverage, um, testing integrations of Salesforce with different other platforms that you're using with your applications, <clears throat> how to perform API and regression testing using various protocols and web services, um, and how to perform regression tests in line with continuous integration. We'll also be briefly talking about a small case study on how um, on how a banking um, application and a CRM solution was implemented and tested um, using testing ways. So uh, moving on a brief about testing ways. Testing ways is a so we are a codeless test automation solution company. We offer automation tools and automation solutions to our customers, uh, mainly for functional regression and database testing of your web, mobile, and cloud application. We are a feature a venture of Signet Infotech, a CMI level three company based out of US, um, Australia, South Africa, and India. Um, testing with is our own proprietary technology and has been featured into many um, um, major uh, news and publishing and portals like the Software Development Times, Tech Target, Better Software Magazine, and Economic Times. So do uh, check out and read about it uh, online or find it on one of these portals. Um, talking about testing with in, in, a, in, a, in a nutshell and giving you a quick overview of why um, and what differentiates testing with. So as we mentioned, it's a codeless test automation solution offering a complete all-in-one um, automation, um, uh, automation cap capability where you can conduct different activities from a single tool. So um, testing this was built and designed keeping in mind that you know any person who uh, doesn't have a programming um, expertise and a skill should be able to test and work with um, automation tools without um, having to learn any of those programming languages. Having said that, we have also made sure, it made sure that you know we go back and cover a complete um, uh, coverage of your applications using different application layers. So talking about testing with the main application layer that we function on is uh, the web application layer where we help you in testing your applications onto different web browsers and your web server environments. So testing with features inbuilt capabilities and supports um, testing onto uh, five popular browsers right from your um, Chrome, Firefox, IE, um, Opera, and Safari. We also offer ability to test on cross browsers, functional testing, and web UI testing, um, where we test the UI components and do uh, comparisons of your UI on a pixel-to-pixel -pixel basis. Moving on, there is also a way where you can test your business layers with testing ways where you can test incremental integration testing or your regression testing. You can test your business workflows, business components, and business entity. There is an inbuilt um, data-driven um, and data management features where you can import your test data and plug them into your test cases to work with um, and cover your different scenarios. Finally, we go a step below where uh, we test and interact with databases. So we integrate with five database technologies like MySQL, MS SQL, IBM DB2, uh, PostgreSQL, and Oracle, and um, two uh, big data testing, um, uh, big data uh, platforms like Hadoop and uh, uh, NoSQL. 
Um, there is also support for mobile testing and an extension where you can test your applications on the cloud using Sauce Labs and Browser Stack. Um, those are two integrations which are offered out of testing with, uh, are offered on testing with out of the box. There's also an ability where you can test your web services and um, interact with them out of testing. Um, we all know about Salesforce. It's a great tool. It's a great platform where you can design your own apps, can configure it and customize it to work with your own um, business use cases, etc. And um, with, with your different use cases and can integrate it with your own applications, creating a gamut of workflow automation and Salesforce automation tools. Um, using the platform. However, um, testing um, using Salesforce or you know managing the Salesforce identity is quite quite challenging. There are ongoing application updates which keeps you pushing on to um, your delivery cycles or making sure that you know your apps are tested in an agile way without having to work on on uh, complex, um, you know, without having to compromise on your quality. There is also a challenge where you have to verify all your complex integrations with other applications because that's pivotal for your business and how your applications are going to interact with um, in conjunction with Salesforce. Um, reaching go live uh, with shorter time frames or identifying defects in continuous regression cycles is of a high importance. Any test manager or any implementation manager or a release manager out there would uh, agree to 100% that you know a defect left out in a regression cycle can tumble down and increase um, uh, uh, the cost of those defects uh, over the time, and you know fixing them can be a very tedious thing. Measuring and mitigating business risks with end-to-end -end testing. So. You know, as we spoke, it, it's very important that not only you test your complete regressions, but you also test it with your end-to-end -end business scenarios, and you ensure your risks are covered, and make sure that you know that does not affect your subsequent sprint. So, what is the solution? I mean, the so solution is testing with, and why you should automate your Salesforce app using testing with. So testing with allows you to accelerate your go-to-market by ability to uh, work with Salesforce seamlessly. It ensures your deliveries and in agile sprints are correct and accurate and are continuous. Ensures you have reduced your time and costs, uh, reduce the risk arising out of your integration, and ensures better coverage. It also identifies critical defects from go live and ensures you how release products into the market or release your applications without with minimum defects. So what so, uh, testing with helps in testing on Salesforce? We so testing with work with uh, a variety of um, different features. So you can test your web forms, you can test your third-party integration, you can test different configuration. There is a full API and server. Um, API and web services testing processes. You can test your business workflows and batch processes, as well as your end-to-end -end business flows or how your end users are going to interact with um, your implementation on Salesforce as well. You can also plug in data and uh, run data-driven tests. Um, it's not mentioned on the slides, but it's it's worth noting, and it is a great way to when you make your use of your existing test scripts or existing test case and cover your positive negative scenarios and uh, many other variety of combinations. So we are today going to talk about um, and show you um, different use cases. So um, automation of the process of creating an order on Salesforce um, using a web form um, which is on a cloud. We are going to do that. And we will be testing off a document uh, workflow process where the document from Salesforce would be updated on SharePoint. So um, the test would concurrently run through SharePoint as well and uh, you know test the uh, test the integration workflow with SharePoint. Um, we would also be handling Windows pop-up and uh, uh, bypassing it through automation completely. 
Finally, we would be doing uh, sorry, uh, we would be doing a web services and a response testing. We would be testing the API using RESTful web services straight out of uh, Salesforce. And um, finally, the use case four, where we would be uh, testing an order creation process and continuous integration cycle, uh, where we would be kicking off the regression tests from Jenkins and then executing those scripts um, on Salesforce. So, um, without much ado, I would be um, ending the presentation on this side and getting started with um, the testing list. Okay. Thanks, Premal. Uh, hello, everyone. Good morning to everyone. Uh, I'm uh, Balbo Jha, and I'm currently uh, working as a, a senior uh, automation expert for TestingWiz. And as Premal mentioned, I have created uh, four use cases for for a demonstration purpose. As so, I'll be loading up the uh, the test scripts which we have prepared for you guys. So this is the first use case which Premal has mentioned saying that this is the automation process of creating an order in a Salesforce application. So these are these steps and using this call method I have been, I will be logging into the Salesforce applications. So this is my method and I am calling these number of steps from this call method single statement. And going ahead, we'll be uh, creating and validating the order which has been created. Moving. So, so the yeah. first test case would actually be uh, logging into Salesforce, an online instance, um, creating a new order. You can see on the testing screen, uh, on your left hand side, you have the project tree structure, and on the right hand side, you have the test editor. So uh, this is a test script which has been created using our own recorder and as you can the the test script is generated as an Excel like interface so you can read the description the values etc which are all configurable from um, the test editor itself so um, just to show you guys how you can actually do this you can uh, either select uh, a test step or a test command from the drop down um, select in a contra uh, 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 corresponding action and an object. The objects are recorded when are stored in the testing was when you record a test step. Finally, you can also change the values from this Excel table. You can copy and cop, uh, paste information from your Excel sheets or can um, copy and paste it directly. You can uh, move these test steps up and down using a drag and drop or using mouse uh, buttons and uh, reorder your test steps to make use of the friendly test editor available inside testing. Um, let us kick off the first um, test script where we will be kicking off the order form and we will be creating a new order. Okay, so the browser has been invoked. The browser which I have set default as the, is the Google Chrome and the test case would be executed on the Google Chrome. So currently the Salesforce automation is on the login page and it will validate the successful login then it will be moving ahead with orders page So it has been moved to others page and now it will click on the new button, it will start creating, it will start inputting those values and click on save. After clicking on save it will verify that a new order has been generated and it will print the order number in our report.
that's it this this is the first use case which we have prepared you can drill down the report and see each and every step if it is passed or failed so testing this generates an html report which your users can view um, right off the box you can also email this report or attach this as a um, as an attachment or a simple html file to uh, as a simple html file to your um, colleagues or your management uh, it offers complete information there is also a integration with the defect tracking system which you can push those reports to a test management tool or log a defect um, into jira uh, mantis or any other defect tracking systems that you use um, and the report gets automatically pushed along with the screenshot um, to your um, to your uh, defect tracking systems okay so moving ahead we have uh, an integration offered by sh uh, integration between SharePoint and Salesforce. So what we are trying to achieve here is we, we are uh, trying to upload, uh, upload an order to a SharePoint and we will be validating that document on the SharePoint server by logging into SharePoint. So this is my use case and we'll be executing it on again in on Google Chrome. You can simply pick and choose a browser from the drop down um, that you want and um, select the one that you would like to execute your test scripts against. Okay, so this has been this will be logging into the Salesforce systems. We'll move ahead on the orders page. So generating orders in Salesforce is uh, pretty general stuff. You can every each each and every company would have a, a, would have an orders section. So this is quite handy with testing with. So this will click on the first order number and open up that particular order. And it will try to click on that upload document. that opens up a new web browser, a new window to upload it to SharePoint. So it will click on upload to SharePoint and after the process has been successfully uploaded then it will check for the verification message. After this validation it will now move ahead with the SharePoint login and try to validate on the SharePoint the same thing has been uploaded on the SharePoint or not so it's, it's looking for the folder and the directory it would access the directory search for a file and after the validation has been successful it would generate a report again so this is Again, how your integration with third-party applications, you have chosen SharePoint um, uh, for this demo, but you can have multiple applications or multiple integrations with different systems, uh, and then you can go back and test your um, scenarios um, without any hassle. Um, Pavel, would you show us the API testing now? Yes, we have a simple HTML API which gives us the HTML response. And we have other APIs also which returns us the uh, XML response and uh, the JSON responses. So we'll be going through those things. I'll copy this into our API part and we'll run all these tests, API test cases. 
in a go okay so this is basically a back end testing so the in the browser it would not be displayed anything so only so we are actually doing it. it yeah we are just working with the console and trying to um, pass a uh, parse an information and return um, get a response from the server it's just if you see the console log has been printing some of these messages and it says that this API is was successful and passed. So if you see the report, this is the report gives us each in, in a test case wise and gives you enough information about the uh, tests performed, strings were compared and the XML was passed successfully and one of the APIs was one of the API was converting our USD to Indian rupee. So this was current trend which was 64.98 Indian dollar Indian rupees in a US dollar and one of the API was weather forecast for the Miami city. So one by one it was calling all those APIs and passing those JSON and HTML responses into a readable text. Okay, let us just show you how the API interface looks like. So I would just open up one of these interfaces on the API and show how you can actually enter. Okay, so this is, this is one of our SOAP web services command which uh, with the help of which you can uh, access your SOAP web services you need to mention uh, the WSGL URL you will get the mentioned methods into that WSGL so selecting those you will be prompting testing this will be showing you the exact input parameters where you need to input uh, the values so my web from currency would be uh, USD and my two currency would be INR so I'm giving the input parameters and I'm storing all the, all the responses of that particular uh, SOAP web service into these variables um, our last test case is where we would kick off a test from Jenkins. So we're going to just um, run all these tests with Jenkins and then... Um right. So for Jenkins to work, we, we need to exactly uh, run a server which is which is a hidden server, but yes, we need to kick start that server from this tools menu and we'll be starting up those uh, hidden servers of testing this and we'll be connecting that server to a Jenkins which is which is up and running in my local system and I have made this build for that particular uh, test case and I'll be building click, kicking off this uh, the execution of those uh, test cases from here so as you see I've kicked off this build and it would be executing that particular test case. So this was a basic test case which was kicked off from the Jenkins server and you can al also go into the build and check the reports from the Jenkins server from here. So this is testing this report from the Jenkins server. That's it, Premal over to you. Thanks a lot, Babu. So um, we'll be uh, talking about very briefly about um, 
the case study and then moving on to question and answer. So uh, talking about the case study, we've automated a banking application where customers would log in to their website and fill up the form for requesting financial assistance using the website form. We validated the form inputs and backend entry into CRM tools, verified the applicant and in user details in CRM, process applicant details, and pick off financial workflows. So a user would typically land on these forms, fill up the information, provide all their information like SSI numbers, um, uh, their card details, or um, request a financial assistance using their um, uh, employment details, etc. And it would get back and verified onto testing with. With testing with, we were able to save 68% savings on their manual testing efforts and increase the end-to-end -end regression testing time, uh, making it faster by 48%. We also extended the application scalability and functionality to optimize the lead generation process for them and overall achieve the higher efficiency for uh, the bank. Okay, guys, um, we hope we were able to keep you entertained and in interested into the Testing with um, webinar. Um, do download Testing with or book a demo. Um, you can log on to www.testingwiz website and download a trial where you can Im implement Testing with on your own Salesforce instance. Um, we can um, we can uh, answer any questions if you have. Uh, we just have a couple of minutes, but we'll be happy to do that. You can also email us your questions and answers um, or or download testing list from our website. Thanks a lot for joining through today um, and we wish you a great day.